Our World, Students Book 5, Copyright 2020 National Geographic Learning, a part of Cengage Learning All rights reserved Unit 1, Track 1.1 Vocabulary 1, Activity 1 Listen and read we know we can't control the weather. It can be beautiful, wild and dangerous, often all at the same time. Scientists try to predict weather in different ways. They tell us when extreme weather is coming. Then we can try to protect ourselves. Thunderstorms bring heavy rain with loud thunder and lightning. If too much rain falls in a short time, it can cause a flood. Too little rain makes the land dry and can cause a drought. When it's very cold, a rainstorm can turn into a hailstorm or a blizzard. Wind is a dangerous force. In a tropical storm, the wind speed can be more than a hundred kilometres, sixty miles per hour. Wind in a hurricane or cyclone is even faster. High winds in dry places such as deserts can pick up sand and cause a sandstorm. A tornado is a column of wind that spins very fast. We can only live within a specific range of temperatures. At times, temperatures rise too high or drop too low. It not only feels bad, it can be dangerous. In a heat wave, the weather stays very hot for days or even weeks. Track 1.2 Activity 2. Listen and repeat. Thunder. I'm afraid of thunder. Lightning. Did you see the lightning? A flood. Rain can cause a flood. A drought. Save water. There's a drought. A hailstorm. A big hailstorm can be dangerous. A blizzard. We didn't go to school because there was a blizzard. A tropical storm. There are many tropical storms in this area. Speed. The wind speed reached 80 kilometers an hour. A hurricane. A hurricane brings lots of wind and rain. A sandstorm. You can't see during a sandstorm. A tornado. A tornado can develop very quickly. A range. Is there a big temperature range in Antarctica? Rise. In some places, the temperature rises very high in the summer. Drop. The temperature drops very quickly at night. A heat wave. Last summer, there was a heat wave. Track 1.3. Song. Activity 1. Listen, read and sing. Is it going to rain? Yes, it is. Is it?
Is there going to be a storm? Yes, there is. Is there going to be thunder and lightning? Yes, there is. There's going to be a storm. I'm going to go inside. Be prepared for emergencies. It's always good to be safe. You'll see. Get supplies and a torch to seek shelter. It's a safe thing to do. Is there going to be a blizzard? Yes, there is. Is there going to be a hailstorm? Yes, there is. Is it going to be cold? Oh, yes, it is. There's going to be a blizzard. I'm going to go inside. Be prepared for emergencies. It's always good to be safe. You'll see. Get supplies and a torch to seek shelter. It's a safe thing to do. Is there going to be a Hurricane. Yes, there is. Is the wind going to howl? Yes, it is. Are the waves going to rage? Yes, they are. There's going to be a hurricane. Let's evacuate. Be prepared for emergencies. It's always good to be safe. You'll see. Get supplies and a torch to seek shelter. It's a safe thing to do. Seek shelter. It's a safe thing to do. Track one point four, grammar one, future predictions and plans with be going to. Is it going to rain tomorrow? No, it's going to snow tomorrow. I'm going to listen to the weather forecast at eight o'clock. He's going to put on his snow boots. Track one point five, vocabulary two, activity one. Listen and repeat, then read and write. A plan. Let's make a plan. Evacuate. They had to evacuate the school during the flood. An emergency. You need to be ready in case of an emergency. A torch. Have you got a torch? Supplies. Don't forget to buy supplies before the storm. A shelter. During the hurricane, many people slept in a shelter. Track one point six, activity two. Listen and stick. Find out what to do next. Put your stickers in the correct order. Work with a partner. Summarize the weather forecast. Welcome to your local radio weather forecast. We've got the latest news on the hurricane. It will reach land in two hours. It is a big storm, and it will do a lot of damage. Everyone should follow a plan of action. The plan will help you stay safe. Then, find a shelter. To protect your family from high winds, keep your family together in the shelter. Next, make sure that you can see in the dark. Find a torch and keep it with you. Make sure that the torch works. The storm may last a long time. You will need food. And water. Collect the supplies that you need. Keep your supplies dry. Also, continue to listen to your radio. If the hurricane grows too strong, you may be told to evacuate. You will have to leave 
and go to a safer place. If we tell you to evacuate, we will tell you where to go to keep your family safe. Track 1.7 Grammar 2 Zero conditional Present tense I put on my winter coat if the weather is cold. If I see lightning, I go inside. If a sandstorm comes, I close all the windows. Track 1.8 Reading Activity 1 Listen and read. Tornado Trouble Tornadoes happen all over the world. There is even a place called Tornado Alley. Josh Werman studies extreme weather. He joined a team of other scientists to study tornadoes in Tornado Alley. One day, the blue sky turned black. A giant cloud came towards the team. The cloud had winds that moved in a circle. Inside his van, Werman watched the storm through his window and on his instruments. Colours on the computer screen showed where the rain fell and where the wind was the strongest. The winds twisted the storm tighter and tighter into the shape of a funnel. When the funnel touched the ground, it became a tornado. The tornado looked like a giant grey elephant's trunk. It moved one way, then the other way. As the tornado moved across the ground, the team came dangerously close. They dropped special instruments close to the storm. These instruments showed wind speed, temperature, and how much rain was falling. The tornado twisted and moved for half an hour. The team watched the storm and their instruments the whole time. Then the tornado leant over slowly, like a soft rope. Poof! It was gone. The excitement was over, but Werman and his team have a lot more work to do. The information from their instruments will help them predict other tornadoes so that they can warn people and save lives. Unit 2, Track 2.1 Vocabulary 1 Activity 1 Listen and read. Some animals can look like other animals or even like a plant. These copycats are trying to hide from or trick a hungry predator. They can look like another more dangerous animal or like another animal the predator doesn't like eating. This cheetah's black spots act as camouflage. This way, the cheetah doesn't frighten its prey when it's time to hunt. This colourful frog has got stripes on its skin. The bright colours tell hungry predators that the frog is poisonous. These butterflies are not the same species, but they resemble each other. The top one tastes bad. The other one copies its shape and colours and tastes bad too. This insect is as green as a leaf. It imitates the characteristics of colour and shape of leaves to help it hide from predators. Track 2.2 Activity 2 Listen and repeat. A predator Do all predators hunt at night? A spot Cheetahs have got black spots. Camouflage. 
Do all animals in the rainforest use camouflage? Frighten. Don't frighten the birds. Prey. Some animals use their claws to catch prey. Hunt. How do lion cubs learn to hunt? A stripe. The tiger has got stripes. Poisonous. Some frogs are poisonous. Species. How many species are there on Earth? Resemble. These two birds resemble each other. Copy. Some animals copy the characteristics of other animals. An insect. I want to study insects. Imitate. Look. That insect is imitating a leaf. It's difficult to see it. A characteristic. Bright colors are a characteristic of many poisonous animals. Hide. Many animals hide during the day. Track 2.3. Activity 1. Listen, read and sing. It's a wild world. It's hard work staying alive. Animals do amazing things in order to survive. Like a leaf, copies plants to be free. Predators are everywhere and looking for a feast. It's a wild world. It's hard work staying alive. Animals do amazing things in order to survive. Camouflage and imitate, resemble and escape. Animals hide in front of our eyes every day. The hunter and the hunted, predator and prey, must hunt or hide to stay alive each and every day. A pretty frog can be as deadly as a poisonous snake. It's got stripes to tell its enemies to stay away. It's a wild world. It's hard work staying alive. Animals do amazing things in order to survive. It's a wild world. Track 2.4. Grammar 1. Comparisons with as, as. That Katie did is as green as the leaf it sits on. That butterfly is not as pretty as the blue one. Poison dart frogs are as dangerous as some snakes. Track 2.5. Vocabulary 2. Activity 1. Listen and repeat. Then read and write. Confuse. The butterfly fish confuses its predators with a spot like an eye. Attack. 
Jaguars attack their prey. Defend. The cobra defends itself. Avoid. The mongoose avoids its bite. Escape. Deer escape predators by running away. Track 2.6. Activity 2. Listen. Stick true or false. Work with a partner. Compare your answers. Number 1. The butterfly fish has got a spot on its tail that looks like an eye. This can confuse predators. Number 2. The insect called a katydid is the same colour as the leaf it eats. In this way, it avoids predators. Number three. A deer will often attack a jaguar. Number four. A sea turtle swims so slowly that it almost never escapes its predators. Number five. A lion has got sharp claws that it can use to defend itself. Track 2.7 Grammar 2 Question Tags The jaguar is dangerous, isn't it? That frog wasn't poisonous, was it? Those snakes are scary, aren't they? The cat escaped the dog, didn't it? This insect looks like a stick, doesn't it? The dogs were loud, weren't they? Giraffes don't eat meat, do they? The cats weren't friendly, were they? It's got a big nose, hasn't it? They've got long ears, haven't they? Track 2.8 Activity 2 Play a game Cut out the question tags at the back of the book. Glue 9 to complete your game. Listen. Which tag completes the sentence? If you've got it, draw an X on the square. Jaguars have got dots. Lions haven't got stripes. The deer escaped. That insect looks like a leaf. That snake is poisonous. Those butterflies are beautiful. The jaguar didn't catch the deer. Your pet frogs weren't poisonous. An elephant doesn't use camouflage. Track 2.9 Reading Activity 1 Listen and read. Copycats The leafy sea dragon is a weird but beautiful copycat. From its name, you would think it imitates a dragon, wouldn't you? But no, it only gets that name from its funny shape. The leafy sea dragon imitates what is around it. It lives in seaweed, and so its body looks like a seaweed leaf. The sea dragon imitates the shape and colour of seaweed, and it even looks like floating seaweed when it moves. It doesn't use the parts of its body that look like a leaf to swim. It uses fins that are transparent so it's hard to see them move. 
The leafy sea dragon not only looks like a copycat, it also dances like a copycat. A male and female sea dragon will copy each other's movements for hours. The mimic octopus is the only sea creature that can imitate many different species. It not only changes its colour, it also changes its shape. It's got arms as thick as pencils. When it spreads them wide, they look like the spines of a lionfish. It hides some of its arms in the sand, but leaves two arms out. Then, with its white and brown stripes, and the two arms, it looks like a sea snake. It can also pull its arms together and swim on the sea floor. So, to a predator, it looks like a poisonous flatfish. Like other octopuses, the mimic octopus has got eight arms and three hearts. It swims by shooting out jets of water through a siphon. It's also got a large brain for its size. What a clever octopus! Unit 3, Track 3.1 Vocabulary 1, Activity 1 Listen and read. There are three main types of musical instruments. String instruments make sounds when you pluck the strings. Wind instruments make sounds when you blow air through them. Percussion instruments make different sounds when you hit them or shake them. Music has its own language. Each single sound is a note. Play two notes or more at one time to make a chord. Notes and chords played one after the other make a melody. The thump, thump, thump that makes you want to dance is the beat. Put all the beats together slow and fast, repeat them over time and you have a rhythm. Do you want your band to play better? You have to practice. Play songs again and again until they sound really good. When your band sounds good, you can perform for an audience. Invite your friends to the concert. If you don't play an instrument, but you sing well, you could be the lead singer. A violin. A drum. A piano. A flute. A saxophone. A guitar. Track 3.2. Activity 2. Listen and repeat. A note. There are twelve basic musical notes. A chord. I'm learning to play chords on the guitar. A melody. I need to remember the melody. Beat. I like the beat of the drum. Rhythm. I like dancing to the rhythm of the music. A violin. I'm learning to play the violin. A drum. I play the drums in a band. A piano. I'm having piano lessons. A flute. I like the sound of the flute.
A saxophone. Can you play the saxophone? A guitar. I like playing the guitar. A band. We went to see our favorite band. Practice. He practices for many hours a day. Perform. Do you like performing in public? A concert. We're going to a concert tonight. A lead singer. The lead singer has got a beautiful voice. Track three point three, song, activity one, listen, read, and sing. Have you ever listened to hip hop? Have you ever listened to drums? I listen to all kinds of music. It's amazing fun. Listen to the saxophone. Listen to the beat. Listen to the melody. Feel it in your feet. The flute is playing. The piano is too. I can hear the guitar. Can you? Have you ever listened to hip hop? Have you ever listened to drums? I listen to all kinds of music. It's amazing fun. Listen to the rhythm. Listen to that band. Sing the notes and clap your hands. Have you ever played a note? Have you ever played a chord? Have you ever played a rhythm? One, two, three, four. Have you ever listened to hip hop? Have you ever listened to drums? I listen to all kinds of music. It's amazing fun. Track three point four, Grammar One. Present perfect with ever and never. Have you ever listened to hip hop? Yes, I have. Have you ever danced to hip hop? No, I haven't. Have you ever been to a concert? No, I haven't. Has Lisa ever heard an orchestra perform? No, she has never heard an orchestra perform. Track three point five, vocabulary two. Activity one: Listen and repeat, then read and write. Hip hop. I like to sing hip hop. Classical. I want to go to a classical concert. Pop. What's your favorite pop band? Jazz. I like the sound of the saxophone in jazz songs. Rock. I went to a rock concert last weekend. Track three point six, grammar two. Comparative adverbs. He sings more loudly than I do. She plays the violin better than he does. I play the guitar as well as my brother.
He practices the piano less often than me. Track 3.7 Reading Activity 1 Listen and read. It's all music. People made music before they could write about it. One of the oldest instruments ever found is more than 42,000 years old. It's a flute. Instruments like flutes are called wind instruments. The music comes from moving air, usually when a person blows into the instrument. Each wind instrument has a shape that makes it sound different. Some have got holes for fingers to cover. Others have got buttons to press. Holes and buttons let you change the way the air travels to change the notes. Another way to make music is with strings. When you pluck a string, it makes a note. String instruments have got thick or thin strings and long or short strings to make different notes. The shape of the string instrument also helps to make the sound. If the shape is bigger, the music sounds lower. Musicians often use a bow to play string instruments. The bow is a piece of wood with hairs or a string stretched between its ends. Musicians slide it over the strings to make sounds. You can also make music by hitting or shaking something. Percussion instruments can be made from many things. That's because most things make a sound when you hit them. The air inside the instrument makes the sound louder. A drum is a percussion instrument. But instruments with strings can be percussion instruments too. When you hit strings, you can make music. A piano is a percussion instrument. When you press the piano keys, hammers inside the piano hit the strings to make music. Track 3.8 Review Units 1 to 3 Activity 1 Listen and write Carla is doing a survey about music. What are her questions? What do Laura and Andrew answer? Complete the table. Hi, Laura and Andrew. I'm doing a survey. Do you want to participate? Yes, of course. What's the survey about? It's about music. Here's the first question. What music do you like? Why? I like hip-hop because the beat is strong. What about you, Andrew? What music do you like? Why? I really like jazz because I love saxophones. OK. Question number two. What music don't you like? Why? I don't like pop. Pop songs are silly. What about you, Andrew? What music don't you like? Why? I don't like classical music. I don't like hip-hop either. I need just one answer, not two. OK. Classical music, then. My grandmother listens to it all the time. Question number three now. Do you like singing? Have you ever sung in public? How many times? Yes, I love singing, but I've never sung in public. Andrew, how about you? I like singing, but I don't think anyone likes to hear me sing. My dad is in a band, and I sang with them once. I don't think they liked it. Question number four. What instruments do you play? None, but I'd like to play the guitar. Andrew, what instruments do you play? 
the saxophone, of course, and I can also play the piano. Track 3.9 Extended Reading Activity 1 Listen and read Animal Predictions Have you ever heard that animals can sense weather? Many people tell stories about this, but is it true? Some scientists say that it might be. We're going to look at a few examples. Many people who have got dogs know about their behaviour. They can see when dogs are more nervous than usual. One example is Champ, an 11-year-old dog who went down to the basement and wouldn't come out. His family knew he was scared. They looked at the sky and saw a tornado coming. So they took shelter in the basement too. The tornado destroyed their house, but they were safe in the basement with Champ. Dogs can hear low sounds, feel changes in air pressure, and smell better than people, so they can often help tell when a storm is coming. Birds often change their movements before a storm. Golden-winged warblers are birds that migrate from Latin America to North America. In 2014, scientists studying migration noticed that the birds weren't in the state of Tennessee at the right time. In fact, they flew 1,500 kilometers, 900 miles, more to avoid a huge storm. It is possible they heard the low sounds from the thunder. They returned to Tennessee a few days later. Have you ever heard that some species can predict earthquakes and tsunamis? Elephants are very good at this. Their big feet can feel vibrations in the ground. In the 2004 tsunami in Thailand, Elephants escaped up the hills before the seawater flooded the beaches. They probably felt early vibrations of the earthquake that caused the tsunami. With time, we will understand more about animals and how they react. The next time the weather forecast says a storm is coming, watch the animals around you. Are they predicting it too? Track 3.10 Let's Talk Units 1 to 3 Activity 1 Listen and Read Whose turn is it? It's my turn. Well, hurry up. Woohoo! Yes, I won! Now we're tied. No! What do you mean? Well, I won last time. Track 3.11 Activity 3 Listen and read So I'll be the reporter. Who's going to make notes? I'll do that. Thanks. Can you watch the time, Hans? Sure. Um, what page are we on? We're on page 25. We're sharing ideas about music. Thanks, Olga. Track 3.12 Activity 4 Listen to two discussions. Circle what the students are doing. Number 1 I know. Let's make a poster. That's a good idea. Can I do the art? I love drawing. Sure. You're good at art too. Who's going to write on the poster? Can you do that, Olga? OK, no problem. I like writing. OK, then I'll tell the class about our poster. Number two. OK, this is a role play between two people, a boy and a girl. I'll be the boy. Who's going to be the girl? I'll do that. What about you, Olga? What are you going to do? Um, 
I'll watch the time. How long have we got? Ten minutes. Unit 4. Track 4.1. Vocabulary 1. Activity 1. Listen and read. Earth is a planet that moves around the sun. Other planets also orbit the sun. The sun and planets make up our solar system. The sun is a star, like the stars that you see in the sky at night. Some stars have solar systems with planets too. There may be another planet out there that has an atmosphere with oxygen to breathe. A star and the planets that orbit around it make up a solar system. Stars and solar systems make up a galaxy. Our galaxy is the Milky Way. It has about 100 billion stars. The Milky Way isn't the only galaxy. There are more galaxies in the universe than there are stars in a galaxy. How many? We don't know. There are too many to count, and many are too far away to see. A comet is a cloud of rock, ice and gas that orbits the sun. Many Earth years pass during its journey around the sun. Scientists keep data on comets to know when they will appear. Think of the many galaxies in the universe. Think of the many stars in each galaxy. Think of the many planets that orbit the stars. Do you think that extraterrestrials may live on one of the planets? Many people debate this question. An orbit. A planet. A comet. Space. A galaxy. Track 4.2. Activity 2. Listen and repeat. A planet. Earth is a planet. An orbit. Earth is in an orbit around the sun. A solar system. Earth is the third planet in our solar system. Atmosphere. The atmosphere on Earth lets us breathe and survive. A galaxy. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way. The Universe There are many galaxies in the Universe. A Comet A comet is made up of rock, ice and gas. A Journey A journey to another planet could take many years. Data Scientists collect data on the universe. Space There is no air in space. An extraterrestrial Some people think that extraterrestrials live on other planets. Debate. Scientists debate whether there is life on other planets. Track 4.3. Song. Activity 1. Listen, read and sing. Let's all go on a journey through the atmosphere. Beyond our solar system, far away from here We might find a new planet, we might find a new place We might find things we've never seen deep in outer space
hear light and sound We can go on a journey Right outside our door And see the wonders of life on earth And so much more Deep in outer space Who knows what we might find Deep in outer space Track 4.4 Grammar 1 May and Might If a planet has an atmosphere, it may have life. Do you think astronauts might go to the moon again? There might be life on other planets. Yes, but it may be very simple life. Track 4.5 Vocabulary 2 Activity 1 Listen and repeat Then read and write A rocket A rocket has enough power to reach space A spacecraft A spacecraft has travelled to the moon an astronaut. An astronaut travels in space. A space station. A space station orbits the Earth. Search. It is important to search for life on other planets. Communicate. Astronauts communicate with mission control for directions. Track 4.6 Activity 2 Listen and stick. Work with a partner. Take turns describing the rocket launch. Ready to begin the liftoff. Mission control is about to start the countdown. Start the engines. They have started the rockets. Ten. Nine. Eight. The rockets are burning. They will soon lift the spacecraft from Earth. Four. Three. Two. One. We have liftoff. The spacecraft is moving. And the two astronauts are leaving Earth. Can you imagine the excitement for those two astronauts? It's not their first time in space. Both astronauts lived on the space station for four months. They returned to Earth from the space station just one year ago. Soon, Mission Control will be able to communicate with them. They can't communicate during liftoff. After orbiting the Earth, the spacecraft will land on the Moon. Track 4.7 Grammar 2 Indefinite Pronouns Did everyone see that comet? Does anyone want to be an astronaut? Someone will go to Mars one day. No one can see all the stars in the universe. Track 4.8 Reading Activity 1 Listen and read Listening for life If extraterrestrials live on other planets, we can't see them. Planets in other solar systems are extremely far away. We can't see the planets, even with our biggest telescopes. But what if the extraterrestrials want to communicate with us? What if they are sending messages? This signal would travel through space. 
after many years, it might reach our solar system. It would be hidden in the noise from other places in space. We would need special tools to hear it. Scientists at SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, have made a tool for listening. It uses 42 satellite dishes that are connected together. Scientists plan to have 350 dishes one day. They point all the dishes at the same place in the sky. Then they search for any data they can hear. The dishes can hear very weak signals. For example, they could hear a mobile phone on a planet in our solar system. That's if someone had a mobile phone on Jupiter. The dishes pick up noise from radios on Earth too. Scientists must be careful to avoid this noise. We have not heard from an extraterrestrial yet. But is it possible that they are listening to us? If they are, most could not have heard us yet. We have used radios for just over 100 years. That isn't much time for the big distances in the universe. In that time, our signal could only reach a small number of stars. Extraterrestrials from nearby solar systems would not hear us for thousands of years. Unit 5 Track 5.1 Vocabulary 1 Activity 1 Listen and read. Everyone should be proud of who they are. What makes you who you are? Part of who you are comes from the past. It comes from the culture of your parents, grandparents, and people before them. It comes from the language you speak, the art you see, the stories and music you hear, and the traditions you share. Dragon boats are a 2,000-year-old Chinese tradition. Racers must cooperate and row together to win. Today, dragon boat racing has become a modern world sport. Storytelling isn't always done with words. In Laos, dancers tell stories with their hands. The dances are part of their history. This history is passed down from one generation to the next. Many people in Tabasco, Mexico, keep their history alive. This local boy has clay on his face. He will do the jaguar dance to bring rain. His people speak an old language that came from the Olmec culture thousands of years ago. In Ghana, Many people hold on to their tradition of weaving beautiful cloth. Tourists come to Ghana to buy cloth. The money that the tourists pay helps the future of the community. Track 5.2 Activity 2 Listen and repeat. Proud I'm very proud of my culture. Culture People who live together share a common culture. A language Language helps us think and communicate. Art Art is a very important part of any culture. A tradition. Cooking is a tradition in every culture. Share. Sometimes two different cultures share one language. 
Storytelling. Storytelling is a way to preserve history. Pass down. Stories are passed down from generation to generation. A generation. People of the same generation may have similar experiences. Local. Try to eat local foods when you visit a country. Hold on to. Some groups try to hold on to their original language. Weave. My great grandmother used to weave her own cloth. A tourist. Tourists can help preserve some cultures. Future. We remember the past, live in the present, and dream about the future. A community. Living in a community is important for most people. Track five point three, song, activity one, listen, read, and sing. Knowing your history is important. Holding on to your culture is an excellent thing. Knowing your history is important. It's up to you to keep your culture strong. What special art does your culture bring to our world? What special thing does your family bring to our world? Weaving, learn to do it. Storytelling, learn to tell it. What brings your culture pride? Knowing your history is important. Holding on to your culture is an excellent thing. Knowing your history is important. It's up to you to keep your culture strong. What special art does your culture bring to our world? What special thing? Does your family bring to our world? Embroidery, learn to sew it. Sculpture, learn to sculpt it. What brings your culture pride? Your grandparents may seem old to you, but they know a thing or two. Knowing your history is important. Holding on to your culture is an excellent thing. It's up to you to keep your culture strong. Track five point four, grammar one. Gerunds as subjects. Knowing your history is important. Holding on to your traditions is a good thing. Passing down family stories connects generations. Creating art is a good way to share your culture. Track five point five, vocabulary two, activity one, listen and repeat, then read and write. Handmade. Old toys were handmade from wood. A sculpture. You can make a sculpture of a person or animal. Embroidery. Embroidery is beautiful, but takes patience. Pottery. Making pottery is a very old art. Jewelry making. Jewelry making. Is common in many cultures. Track five point six, 
Grammar 2. Gerunds as objects. My friends are good at making jewellery. I like eating traditional foods. My mother enjoys embroidering clothes. I'm interested in learning about new places. Track 5.7 Reading Activity 1 Listen and read Not your grandpa's mariachi There's a new band in town They're playing a traditional style of Mexican music called mariachi but with a twist Before meeting this new band let's step back in time Mariachi music started hundreds of years ago. But the traditional style we see today began in the 19th century. Groups of farmers played together. Their instruments included traditional violins and different kinds of classical guitars. The smaller guitars played the higher notes and a traditional bass guitar played the low ones. They had trumpets too. The music was often loud, happy and exciting, but it could also be quiet and romantic. The musicians wore traditional suits with silver buttons and a sombrero, a wide Mexican hat. The mariachi played and danced at celebrations such as birthdays and weddings. As people from Mexico moved around the world, the mariachi tradition spread too. In the past, mariachi bands were always men and they always sang in Spanish. Fast forward to today and meet the mariachi Flor de Toloache. They're an all-woman mariachi band. The band met in New York in the USA. Some of the women have Mexican or Puerto Rican families, but others do not. So the band sometimes sings in Spanish and sometimes in English. They sing traditional songs, but they also sing versions of modern songs in a mariachi style. They still dress in traditional mariachi suits. The band is building on the mariachi tradition and making mariachi music to fit today's modern world. Unit 6 Track 6.1 Vocabulary 1 Activity 1 Listen and read Have you ever heard of a flower? that smells like rotting meat to attract insects? Have you ever seen a plant close its leaves over an insect? Can plants really do these things? Let's learn more about the behaviour of plants. Plants need light, air, water and nutrients to live. Roots absorb the nutrients that are in the ground and water. Tiny organisms called bacteria turn these nutrients into food that the plant can use. But some places don't have a lot of these nutrients. So some plants adapt. They follow a different plan for survival. Their strategy is to eat insects. The stink lily gets its name from its smell. The flower stinks like rotting meat. The smell attracts flies to the plant and then tricks them. When a fly crawls on the flower, pollen sticks to the fly. Then the fly takes the pollen and leaves it on the next plant it visits. That's how the stink lily makes new plants. The Venus flytrap attracts insects with a sweet odour. When an insect lands on an open leaf, the leaf closes and traps the insect, 
Then the plant slowly digests the insect over a period of eight to ten days. Track 6.2. Activity 2. Listen and repeat. Attract. The sweet smell of a flower attracts insects. A leaf. A green insect is hiding on that leaf. Behavior. One plant behavior is to grow towards the light. Light. All plants need light to live. Roots. A plant gets food through its roots. Ground. Most plants have got roots under the ground. Bacteria. There are a lot of bacteria in the ground. Adapt. Both plants and animals adapt to where they live. Survival. The survival of most plants depends on getting enough water. A strategy. Plants and animals have got strategies for survival. Stink. That plant is beautiful, but it really stinks. Trick. The rotting meat smell of the plant tricks flies. Trap. The plant traps the insect so it can't get away. Digest. How do plants digest food? A stem. The stem of the plant holds the flower. Track 6.3. Song. Activity 1. Listen, read and sing. Leaf and stem and flower and root The sweet, delicious smell of fruit Is here and there and everywhere Plants are all around Plants are growing up and down Air is flowing all around Plants come in every shape and size Their bright colors attract the eyes Of bees and butterflies Big and small plants survive it all Leaf and stem and flower and root The sweet, delicious smell of fruit Is here and there and everywhere Plants are all around are growing up and down air is flowing all around some plants play tricks with our eyes they're made to give us a surprise a plant is designed to survive to make new seeds to grow and thrive some of the oldest plants on earth are trees on mountains high Delicious smell of fruit is here and there and everywhere. Plants are all around. Track 6.4. Grammar 1. The passive. Present simple. Insects are attracted to the plant's sweet smell. The seeds are carried away by birds. How is the insect trapped? 
The fly is caught inside the closing leaf. Track 6.5 Vocabulary 2 Activity 1 Listen and repeat. Then read and write. A petal. The petals are white. A daisy. That yellow and white flower is called a daisy. A vine. Grapes grow on a vine. A thorn. Be careful of the thorn on that rose stem. A rose. The smell of a rose is sweet. Track 6.6 .6. Grammar 2 Relative clauses with that I don't want a plant that smells like rotting meat. I like plants that trick and trap insects. Track 6.7 Reading Activity 1 Listen and read is that a plant? The Hidnora africana hasn't got leaves or stems. It's got a flower that looks like a hungry mouth. Inside is white material that stinks. Insects are attracted to the smell. The insect is trapped inside the flower by stiff hairs. The insect eats the white material to survive. Pollen sticks to the insect. A few days later, the flower opens and the insect is free. Then it takes the pollen to another flower. The flower has done its job. The white baneberry is also called doll's eyes. Its fruit looks like eyes on blood-red stems. It is round and white and has got a black dot. Birds eat the fruit and spread the seeds. That's how the doll's eyes makes other plants. The fruit does not hurt the birds, but it's poisonous to people. If people touch any part of the plant, they will get blisters. Eating the fruit can stop a person's heart. The Rafflesia arnoldi hasn't got leaves or stems either. But it has got the largest flower of all plants. It can grow to be one meter, three feet across, and can weigh 11 kilograms, 24 pounds. The flower looks scary. Things that look like big thorns grow out of its center. And even worse, it smells like rotting meat just like the stink lily. This plant doesn't eat insects. The odor attracts insects that carry its pollen to other plants. This big flower only blooms for five days. Because there are fewer and fewer of these plants, they may become extinct. Track 6.8 Review Units 4 to 6. Activity 3. Listen. Work with a partner. Listen to the sentences. Then read the sentences below. Tick T for true or F for false. Number 1. Traditions are passed down from one generation to the next. Number two. Languages must be protected from dying out. Number three. Some plants are trapped by flies. Number four. Insect-eating plants are called carnivorous. Number five. The possibility of human life has been debated by extraterrestrials for a long time. 
Track 6.9 Extended Reading Activity 1 Listen and Read Attack of the Extraterrestrial Plants Scene 1 Maya looks at a strange plant in the corner of the control room while Jake works on his tablet. Have you seen this? What is it? I don't know. It's growing out of the corner. It's blue. That's interesting. But I'm busy. It's got leaves and a stem. If I don't finish with this data, the captain will be angry. It might be a plant. But how can something grow here? Suddenly... A high-pitched sound comes from the plant. Is that some new music that you're listening to? No, it's the plant. It might be trying to communicate with us. In plant language? Oh, it's turning orange. Maybe it's upset? The roots might be coming from the space sample room. Let's look. Maya and Jake walk into a room. It's full of strange, moving plants. Most of them are blue. They are all making loud, humming noises. Look at the plants! Who put them here? They may be more intelligent than they look. I'll just pull off this leaf. The room explodes in angry plant noises and the plants turn purple and start to move towards Jake. Oh no, they're turning purple. Are they plants or are they extraterrestrials? The plants move towards Jake. Watch out, they're coming for you. Run! Track 6.10. Let's talk. Units 4 to 6. Activity 1. Listen and read. Roberto, can I borrow your bike this weekend, please? Um, I'm really sorry, but it's new. My dad won't let me lend it out. That's OK. I understand. Marcello. Can you lend me your bike, please? Yes, of course. But please bring it back to me on Sunday, OK? Thanks a lot. Track 6.11 Activity 3 Listen and read I think we should interview a scientist for our project. That's a good idea. Yes. But we haven't got the time. Actually, that could work. My uncle is a scientist. I'll text him. Track 6.12. Activity 4. Listen. You will hear two discussions. Does everyone agree at the end of the discussion? Circle the answer. Number 1. Why don't we write a blog about life on Mars? That's a good idea, but we don't know enough about it. No one does. I agree with May. It won't work. Actually, I think it could work. We could look on the internet and find out what scientists say. Of course, that's possible. Yes, the internet has lots of information. What do you think, May? Hmm, I'm not sure. Number two. What are we doing? We're making a time capsule. A time capsule? What do we put in it? I know. We could put some popular TV programmes in it. No, that won't work. You can't put a TV programme in a time capsule. <laughs> Actually. I think it could work. Yes, but...
But how? Well, we could put some photos of TV stars in the capsule. Yes, let's do that. I agree. It's a really good idea. Unit 7. Track 7.1. Vocabulary 1. Activity 1. Listen and read. Go for a walk on a sunny day. The earth seems calm under your feet. But deep down, it is not. Under the earth's crust, it is so hot that rock melts. This molten rock is called magma. In some places, there are deep cracks in the surface of the earth. These cracks let magma come to the surface. The magma pushes up the earth's crust. It creates a mountain, a volcano. A volcano erupts when magma explodes onto the surface. The flow of this rock is called lava. The lava is thrown into the air and flows down the volcano. The heat of the lava burns everything it touches. The blast of an eruption throws steam into the air. The steam is created from water inside the earth. The blast also sends gases high into the sky. They make breathing difficult. A volcanic eruption can fill the sky with ash. The ash can come down and cover the land with a thick layer. Track 7.2 Activity 2 Listen and repeat. Calm Before an eruption, the volcano is calm. Deep Ouch! That's a very deep cut. You need to go to the clinic. Melt Rocks can melt under the Earth's crust. Molten rock Molten rock is very hot. A crack We can't walk on that ice. There are cracks in it. A surface The surface of the lake is very calm. Create a volcano in the sea can create new islands. A volcano. A volcano can erupt at any time. Erupt. You shouldn't be nearby when a volcano erupts. Explode. Sometimes a volcano explodes and throws rocks into the air. Heat. The heat today is terrible. It must be 40 degrees. Steam. Steam can burn you. Inside. Is it safe to go inside a volcano? Gas. The gases from a volcano can hurt you. Ash Ash is left after wood burns. Cover Can a volcano be covered with snow? Thick A thick layer of ash covers the ground. Track 7.3 Song Activity 1 Listen, read, and sing. Volcanoes are a lot like me. Some are awake and full of energy. Other volcanoes are sleepy. Yes, volcanoes are a lot like me. When I get really silly and I'm bursting with energy If it's got nowhere to go, sometimes I think I will explain 
volcano will erupt. Volcanoes are a lot like me. Some are awake and full of energy. Other volcanoes are sleepy. Yes, volcanoes are a lot like me. If a volcano is dormant, it's really just asleep. A dormant volcano will sleep for centuries. If a volcano is active, it's wide awake. When it's awake, it's just like me. It's ready to burn off some energy. Volcanoes are a lot like me. Some are awake and full of energy. Other volcanoes are sleeping. Yes, volcanoes are a lot like me. Track seven point four. Grammar one. First conditional. If the lava touches the trees, it will burn them. If rain hits the lava, it'll turn into steam. I will go to a safe place if the volcano erupts. The plants will burn if hot ash covers them. Track seven point five. Vocabulary two. Activity one. Listen and repeat. Then read and write. Dormant. A dormant volcano hasn't erupted for a long time. A cone. Most volcanoes look like cones. Active. An active volcano can erupt soon. A crater. When a volcano explodes, it can leave a crater. Extinct. An extinct volcano will not erupt. Track seven point six, activity two. Listen and stick in order. Work with a partner. Discuss. I climbed the volcano very slowly. I had to be careful. The mountain was hard to climb. I looked at the top. Clouds were behind the volcano cone. The cone did not end in a point. It was flat on top. At the top, there was a lake. Rain filled the crater of the volcano. The crater was left after the last eruption. The last eruption was many thousands of years ago. I read about it at school. The volcano is extinct. An extinct volcano doesn't erupt, so I felt safe climbing it. I would feel safe climbing a dormant volcano too. A dormant volcano would not erupt. At least I hope not. I don't think it will become active while I'm there. An active volcano would scare me. I would never climb an active volcano. No way. Track seven point seven, grammar two. Because of. Because of the ash, the animals could not breathe. The trees died because of the heat from the lava. Track seven point eight. Reading, activity one. Listen and read. Active volcanoes. There are active volcanoes all over the world. Some erupt quite often, sending hot lava down their slopes. 
people often live near these volcanoes. Because of the ash, the land is good for farming. The longest erupting volcano is Mount Etna in Sicily. It has been active for 3,500 years. Mount Etna erupts very often. It has destroyed many towns. People have tried to change the lava flow. They've built earth walls and used explosives. Some towns have avoided destruction. Successful evacuation plans have kept people safe. Five volcanoes created the island of Hawaii. Mauna Loa is the largest volcano in the world. Kilauea is one of the most active. In fact, it almost never stops erupting. In 2018, the lava flowed through the streets of some towns near the volcano. Many people lost their homes. The volcano near Murajira in Africa erupts about every two years. It also has big lava flows. It creates smaller volcanoes on its sides. At one time, the volcano had a crater with a lake of lava in it. Then, in 1938, there was an eruption that opened up one side of the volcano. Because of the eruption, the lava lake flowed out of the crater. People do not live near this volcano. Fuego is an active volcano in Guatemala. There was a sudden and powerful eruption in June 2018. Many nearby towns were covered in ash. The international airport in Guatemala City had to close because there was too much ash on the runway. Unit 8, Track 8.1 Vocabulary 1, Activity 1 Listen and read Every day we throw away our rubbish. Where does it go? Some of it is buried in landfill sites. Yuck! There has to be a better way. There is. You can choose a way of life that works with the environment. You can conserve by making energy-efficient choices. The three R's of the environment are reduce, reuse and recycle. We all know about recycling. Man-made things are crushed and melted down. They are then made into new things. The best R's are to reduce and reuse. Reduce by choosing to use less energy. Reuse by finding new uses for junk. Choosing natural materials is better for the environment. Things made from natural materials are cool. When they are used up, just like other rubbish, they go into the landfill site too, but they break down faster. And natural things can be grown again. They're renewable. Can we design things to reduce, reuse and recycle? Yes. We can build houses that are energy efficient. We can create art with natural things or reused things. The possibilities are endless. Track 8.2 Activity 2 Listen and repeat. Throw away Don't throw away toys that are still good. Rubbish Always put your rubbish in the bin. A landfill site. Most rubbish ends up in landfill sites. Environment. It's important to keep the environment clean. Conserve. We should conserve water. 
energy efficient. An energy efficient fridge uses less electricity. Reduce. Let's reduce the number of lights we use. Reuse. We can reuse bags. Recycle. You can recycle drinks cans. Man made. Plastic is a man made material. Junk. When a car doesn't work anymore, it becomes junk. Natural. Clothes can be made from natural things, like cotton. Renewable. Wind is a renewable resource. Design. We must design cars to use less energy. Build. He wants to build a house that uses heat from the sun. Track 8.3. Song. Activity 1. Listen, read, and sing. When you're walking to the rubbish bin with some rubbish in your hand, you might want to stop and think again. Can this be reused or given away? Let's start looking after our world today. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Do it every day. Don't throw everything away when clearly there's another way. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Help to keep our world clean. Do your part every day to make our world green. Recycling is easy when you know what to do. Glass, paper, metal. These things can be reused again and again and again. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Do it every day. Don't throw everything away when clearly there's another way. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Help to keep our world clean. Do your part every day to make our world green. Compost your uneaten food. Composting isn't hard to do. Natural things can be reused when they get a helping hand from you. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Do it every day. Don't throw everything away when clearly there's another way. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Help to keep our world clean. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Help make our world green. Track 8.4. Grammar 1. Passive with modals. Present simple. Natural things can be grown again. Many things can be made into art. Aluminium cans must be melted to be recycled. Some plastics may be put in recycling containers. Track 8.5. Vocabulary 2. Activity 1. Listen and repeat. Chemicals. Those chemicals are bad for the environment. Cardboard. Cardboard is made from paper. Metal. Cans made of metal can be melted. Glass. Glass bottles can be recycled. Tools. 
We use tools to build most things. Track 8.6 Activity 2 Listen and Stick Different things are recycled in different ways. But all recycling needs one thing. Tools. Tools are needed to separate, to cut, and to melt. Tools are needed to cut up recycled things quickly. Then they can be made into something else. An easy thing to recycle is cardboard. Cardboard is mixed with water. It breaks down in the water. Then tiny pieces of wood are added to make it strong. It can then be used to make other things. Another thing to recycle is glass. First, the glass is separated by colour. Then it's washed. Next, the glass is crushed and the crushed glass is melted. Then it can be made into other things. Before it is recycled, metal is separated into different types. The metal is then melted at high temperatures. The temperature depends on the type of metal. Then the metal can be used again. Finally, we should reduce our use of chemicals. The chemicals we use go into our water or into the ground. Try to use chemicals that are safe for the environment. Track 8.7 Grammar 2 Clauses with when When we recycle rubbish, we save on materials and energy. An artist's work may surprise us when we first see it. Track 8.8 .8. Reading Activity 1 Listen and read Found Art We often think of reusing and recycling as something we just have to do. But some people see it as a chance to create. Any object can be reused to make something amazing. Reusing is more than a way to save. It can help us think about things in new and different ways. Using found objects to create art is not new. Found art became popular in the 1900s. Found art made people think about the things around them in a different way. Many things could be made into art. Today, many artists still create art from things they find. Sometimes they use things as they find them, and other times they make changes to the things they find. Sometimes they use rubbish. The rubbish from our homes has plenty of metal, plastic, rubber, and cardboard. Artists might use old toys or objects they find on the beach, or old electrical equipment. The Korean artist Yong Ho Ji makes sculptures from old rubber tires. His sculptures are usually of realistic or imaginary animals. Brian Marshall, an American artist, makes sculptures of robots using objects he finds. The artist's put it all together to express their thoughts. We can enjoy their creativity and be amazed at the artist's skill. We can also be surprised by our feelings. Often we can just appreciate the beauty or the humour. All these things make found art valuable in our lives. Unit 9 Track 9.1 Vocabulary 1 Activity 1 Listen and read Do you like holidays with lots of people and noise? Or places that are quiet with no people nearby? Let's find out about some wonderful holidays.
The whole family can enjoy camping together. Bring a tent and sleep in the fresh air. If you hike up a very big mountain, you have to take a guide to help you. Do you like animals and plants? Go on a photo safari and take pictures of wildlife. Stay safe in a vehicle when there are dangerous wild animals. Do you like history? Go and see the ruins of an old city. If you like the modern world, go on a tour of a city. But if you like learning about how to protect the natural world, then an eco tour is for you. A resort is a good place to relax and have fun on your holiday. Stay the night at a big hotel. Go to the beach to sit in the sun and swim. Put on sun cream so that your skin doesn't burn. Theme parks are full of people having fun. Buy a ticket for an exciting ride and hear people scream. If the theme park is also a water park, get ready to get wet. Track 9.2 Activity 2. Listen and repeat. Camping. When we go camping, we sleep outside. A tent. We set up the tent before it started to rain. Hike. Let's hike up the trail to the mountain. A guide. Take a guide with you so you don't get lost. A photo safari. You take pictures of animals on a photo safari. Wildlife. Animals in the forest are wildlife. Ruins. I went to see the amazing ruins of the old city. A tour. On a tour, they take you from place to place. Relax. My parents like to sit and relax on holiday. A hotel. We will stay at the hotel until tomorrow morning. A beach. Let's go to the beach and swim in the sea. A theme park. They are opening a theme park next summer. A ticket. You buy a ticket to ride on a train. A water park. The water park is fun on hot days. Track 9.3 Song Activity 1 Listen, read and sing. Let's go on holiday. Let's go on a trip. Across the sea, a long way away. If I had my way, I would go today. Camping and hiking, the beach and the sun. If we went on holiday, it would be so much fun. If we went on a tour, we would see wildlife. I'd take lots of photos. Wouldn't that be so nice? Let's go on holiday, let's go on a trip If we went on holiday, we would go on a big ship Across the sea, a long way away If I had my way, I would go today I would 
like to stay at a hotel. You'd like to relax. Camping and hiking, the beach and the sun. If we went on holiday, it would be so much fun. If I weren't afraid of heights, we could climb a mountain. But I am, so let's go to the water park and take pictures by the fountain. Let's go on holiday. Let's go on a trip. If we went on holiday, we would go on a big ship across the sea. A long way away. If I had my way, I would go today. Track nine point four, grammar one. Second conditional. If we went on a photo safari, I would take pictures of lions. I'd go mountain climbing if I weren't afraid of heights. He wouldn't spend all of his time in museums if he didn't like art. If you had a lot of money, where would you go on holiday? Track nine point five, vocabulary two, activity one. Listen and repeat. Then read and write. A suitcase. I must pack my suitcase with clothes for my trip. Sunglasses. The sun is really bright. I need my sunglasses. A passport. Mum and Dad left my passport at the hotel. Souvenirs. When I visit a place, I always buy souvenirs. An airport. The plane is landing at the airport. Track nine point six. Activity two. Listen and stick. Do you think they had a good holiday? Why? That was a great holiday. Yes, we had so much fun. I don't want to go home yet. We have to. Our plane leaves today. What time do we have to be at the airport? By midday. And it takes half an hour to get to the airport. Okay, we haven't got much time. I should pack my suitcase soon. What are you putting in your suitcase? My clothes, and the things I bought. You bought souvenirs. Yes, I bought some souvenirs. What about you? I didn't buy souvenirs, but I did buy sunglasses. Yeah, I like your sunglasses. They are cool. Thanks. The sun at the beach hurt my eyes. Okay. I guess we should get ready. Don't forget your passport. My passport? Oh, the hotel has got that. That's right. We need to get our passports back when we leave. What a wonderful holiday this was! Yeah, it was amazing. Track nine point seven, grammar two. Would rather. I would rather go on an eco tour than go to a theme park. We'd rather go on a tour than stay at the hotel. He'd rather not eat at that restaurant. Track nine point eight, reading, activity one. Listen and read. Treehouse holiday. Are you ready for a great eco adventure? Have your holiday in a treehouse. You can find them all over the world. Treehouse holidays are in places such as Peru, Kenya, Belize, and India. There's a lot to do in nature.
In India, there are treehouse bedrooms from 10 to 25 meters, 35 to 80 feet up a tree. There's a bamboo lift to carry you up. It's powered by water. The electricity you use comes from the sun. And there are trails to hike and natural swimming pools to swim in. You can visit your neighbor by walking across a bridge made of rope. You can stay in comfort at a treehouse in Kenya. It has two floors and the rooms have big beds. The windows have colored glass and the bathrooms have showers. There's a small kitchen too. The hotel serves food in your room. And if you get tired of living in nature, the city of Nairobi is about 30 minutes away. In Belize, you can live with parrots under a guanacaste tree that is about 30 meters, 100 feet tall. The parrots make good neighbors because they eat the insects. There are other birds too. It's a great place for bird watching. A river runs around the treehouse on three sides. The clear water is good for swimming. In Peru, you can stay in a bungalow or a lodge near the Yarapa River in the Amazon rainforest. The main lodge connects to the other ten bungalows by passageways and steel cable bridges. One of the bungalows has a view of the Yarapa River. You can watch people fish in the river and you might even see a river dolphin. Sometimes you can see monkeys pass by your room as they look for food. Track 9.9 .9. Review Unit 7 to 9 Activity 5 Listen to the adverts Tick the mini holiday are you planning to sit at home this weekend, or would you rather do something different? We offer two weekend holidays very close to home. Option number one. Go on an exotic photo safari. Yes, you can go on an exotic photo safari at the nature reserve just outside the city. You'll get to know species that you had no idea lived so close to you. Bring a tent and a sleeping bag. The best time of day to see the local wildlife will be very early on Sunday morning. Option number two. Go on an eco-tour of your own city. Visit places you've never seen and help keep your city clean. On Saturday, we'll take you to the recycling centre and the water treatment plant. Take pictures of all the good things your city is doing to protect the environment. Bring a sleeping bag. We'll spend Saturday night at the community centre. On Sunday, we'll collect some junk that people have thrown away and we'll create our own cool junk art. If you can't decide, you can choose one for this weekend and one for next weekend. Call 4254-4487 to reserve. Track 9.10 Extended Reading Activity 1 Listen and Read Surviving Krakatoa My sister and I were lucky. We survived the tsunami that came after Krakatoa erupted in 1883. Many people didn't live. Let me tell you what happened. Our house was high on a hill above the town of Onya. My little sister, Malati, didn't like this because whenever we had to go into town, 
we had to walk a long way. I liked the walk down into Anya. I could look over the sea. Often, I could see the volcano on Krakatoa Island. Malati and I were visiting our cousins in Anya, but something was wrong. We heard eruptions from Krakatoa. They were as loud as a hundred thunderclaps. We could see bright lights through the dark smoke on top of the volcano. It was Sunday night, and I wanted to go home. I've never seen anything like this," said Auntie. "If you stay here, you'll be safe." When we woke up the next morning, we couldn't see the sun. At ten o'clock. It was still dark. Everything was covered in ash. Mum and Dad are going to be worried. We have to go home, I told Malati. No, something bad might happen, she said. I took her hand and pulled her up the path. We couldn't see much. We climbed as fast as we could. Suddenly. There was a strange calm. Then a wall of water roared over Anya. A tsunami! Run, Malati! I shouted. We ran. We heard horrible crashing, but we didn't look back. It went silent again. Then we heard another roar. A bigger tsunami rushed up the hill towards us. Malati, Dharma, take our hands. It was Mum and Dad. They dragged us up to the house as the water raged beneath us. We were safe. It was dark for many days after that. We were scared and hungry, but we were alive. Anya was flooded. The tsunami destroyed everything: houses, trees, people. We never found Auntie and my cousins. Most of the volcano on Krakatoa was destroyed, and I could no longer see it when I looked over the sea. Track nine point eleven. Let's talk. Unit seven to nine. Activity one. Listen and read. Are there any good films on tonight, Carla? Well, there's a comedy. What do you think? No way. Comedies are silly. What else is there? Um, there's an action film. What do you think? Yes, action films are the best. I suppose so, but sometimes they are too violent. Exactly. Isn't there anything else? Track nine point twelve. Activity three. Listen and read. Hello, everyone. I'm Gabby, and this is Berto. Our presentation is about holidays. Today we're going to show you our holiday brochure. Our talk has got two parts, so I'll start, and then Gabby will continue. Can everyone see? Yes. Great. Let's start. Track nine point thirteen, activity four. Listen. Circle the object that students present in each discussion. Number one. Hello, everyone. My name's Mia, and I'm Ivan. Today we want to present our project on space. Mia and I would like to show you the invention that we made. Our talk has got two parts, so I'll start, and then Ivan will continue. Can everyone see? Yes. yes. Thanks, Ivan. Let's start. Number two. Good morning, everyone. I'm Juan, and this is Sonia. Our presentation today is about music. It has got two parts. First, I'm going to show you the poster we made, and then 
Sonia is going to answer your questions. Can everyone hear? Yes. Thanks, Sonia. Now let's get started. Track ten point one. This is our world. Everybody's got a song to sing. Each boy and girl. This is our world. I say our, you say world. Our world, our world. I say boy, you say girl. Boy, girl, boy, girl. I say everybody move. I say everybody stop. 